Nitin Ram, yeah. all questions have been fundamental, yes. but they have been implicitly fundamental. Mm -hmm. Now I will ask explicitly fundamental question, which is on many minds. What is, what exactly is our sense of self, I mm -hmm. or me, that is affected by the situations as opposed to it is said that there is a deeper sense, that there is a deeper eye that is unaffected by the situation. So, how would you differentiate between the two? What gets affected? What remains unaffected? Okay. Uh, we have already spoken on this, like I have given an example of a, of a house yes. with the owner and a tenant. Yes. What do I mean? Uh, I will maybe elaborate on it. Yeah. So let me just clarify this. Yeah. This was answered in a previous question related to the mind, yeah. nature, uh, monkey mind. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. So for those who want to go back and refer to that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So um, a house owner and a tenant. Okay. So a house, I mentioned that that a house is on rent, so a tenant is staying there and tenant is staying there for many, many, many years, but still there is a separate house owner. The owner is not seen because tenant has occupied the place, right? So owner is invisible and tenant is visible. In the same way, in all of us, in all human bodies, we also have one tenant. The tenant is the one who is awake for the 16 hours. 16 hours the tenant is awake. And tenant, what is the reason the tenant is awake? Because the mind app is in an operative mode. Right? So mind is active. The one who is active during the 16 hours because of the mind app is that small i, what we refer it as me. That is the one that is affected by that is the one situations. By situations. Yes. Why so? Because when the tenant is sleeping during the deep sleep, tenant is not there and the app is also in an oblivion mode. So mind is absent, tenant is absent. That small self is not there. The tenant, the body and mind premise is sleeping. What happens then is that during the 8 hours, we don't experience any kind of suffering. Not only suffering, we don't need anything. Not only that we don't have the uh, feelings or the emotions of fear, anxiety, depression or any sorts of negative feeling, but we don't need anything. You don't have even a need for happiness, for peace or even God. Why is that? Because that 8 hours of deep sleep is a complete state. So what, what is there in that complete state in the 8 hours? The main I, which is constant, our original nature, which is unchangeable, undeniable, remains there. Somebody calls that, someone can call it as a universal consciousness. Small i is a personalized consciousness. He is a personalized. When I say me, I want something. I am thirsty. I am hungry. I am in need of uh, knowledge. I am in need of money. I am in need of um, what not, of fame or what, what all. So that can be referred as a personalized consciousness. So that personalized consciousness when it goes to sleep, during the uh, 8 hours of deep sleep, what remains is the universal consciousness. What remains is the universal consciousness. So, let me use this uh, analogy as you, as I have understood so far. Yeah. You use the word what remains. Yes. So, by that assume this universal I or the deeper I is present 24 hours. Yes. But in the morning, when the mind app is active, 
it had sort of a shadow shadowed it overlap overlaid on it yes of what it's called the small i what you call the tenant yes the, the one that is affected is that mind app tenant yes. and as you had referred earlier yeah. it is basically identified with the body yes but even then yes this background deeper yes. eye which yeah. is present in deep sleep yeah. is present even then it's just that it has been overshadowed or overlaid by this app am i correct yes okay absolutely okay how do we know that the universal consciousness exist in the deep sleep the next question could be because there is nothing we are not there that so called me that apparatus called body mind apparatus is not there because when we wake up in the morning when we wake up in the morning of two types of feelings may come somebody who has got a sound sleep may have a feeling oh i had a lovely sleep or exactly opposite oh shit i couldn't sleep i need more sleep maybe tonight i'll sleep even for more hours or maybe a little early so these two feelings when they arise through this body mind instrument only in the morning who who gives us that feeling who is there in the deep sleep who can who can give us the message when we wake up there has to be some entity there has to be some entity which is constant which is giving us the message in the morning that i had a sound sleep or i did not have good sleep so somebody must be there somebody is there and that is what i mean by that constant background that constant background which is there within all of us i can explain i i'll try to explain it in different other ways okay just just before you go to the other yeah, way yeah since you said that yeah. it is present all through 24 hours yes it is complete at night yes it is also there in the background during the day absolutely so there should be a way yeah to know it even during those 16 hours yes of course right so i am trying to say that there is some constant entity within us which is running as a background for 24 hours but it get shadowed in the morning during the wake hours during the waking hours and that is what that which shadows that constant entity is that small i or small self which suffers which has got physical suffering which has got emotional suffering psychological suffering right okay it yeah. can be understood in a different way if we can say there is a screen we go to the uh, to the theaters and watch movies when we go to the theater and watch movies we see the movie we watch the movie the kind of movies may vary so sometime it will be a horror movie sometime it will be a comedy movie sometime it could be a documentary or a sci-fi or a violence movie or a romantic movie so the kind of movies which is played which is shown or screened on the screen will vary but the screen on which they are shown or they are projected it is constant yes. isn't it hmm. so the screen remains always same yeah. i say that in a different way ek aashay hai ek vishay hai right ek vishay hai ek aashay hai vishay what i mean by vishay vishay is a subject vishay is a subject and aashay aashay mean a contest is a screen yeah our aashay is basically the context the background context yes vishay is the actual subject yes right yes yeah. yes so the topics the subject will change but the context will always remain same right second thing how, whichever the subjects vishay whichever the subjects which will come up the subjects will come and they will get wiped up you write any subject on the blackboard we can understand with a blackboard also if there is a blackboard you write different subjects on that you can write me you can write your name you can write history geography mathematics zoology botany or what not but all those subjects 
can be wiped out or they get wiped away. But the background, the back, the blackboard, is there any way to wipe that blackboard? It will never get wiped out. That is our real I. Right. And more importantly, the subjects written on the blackboard, do they disturb the blackboard? The film shown on the screen, the film shown on the screen made a violence movie or a sci-fi movie or a romantic movie or a horror movie. Does the screen get disturbed by the films, by the subjects? Answer is no. So if that is the case, that's what I mean by that, that background which is constant is not disturbed by anything happening on top of that. Right. Now, uh, this clarifies your first analogy. But as I asked, you know, since this background is present yeah. when there is nothing on the screen, such as in deep sleep. Yes. It is that background is present even when the writing is going on or the movie is on. Yes. Now, the question is, is it possible to know that background while some, the writing is going on while or the horror movie is playing or a comedy is playing? At that time, is it possible to know the existence of this background? And you said yes. Of course. Right. Now again, there is one more way to, to understand this background. We know the garlands, the flower, the garlands with the flowers. So imagine a garland of flowers with maybe a marigold flowers or maybe a rose flowers or a jasmine flowers. So imagine a garland. Now the flowers will change. The flowers will change. But the thread remains same. The flowers may vanish. They will get dried out. But the same thread can be used to make another garland. So flowers is like our small self. In a garland, the flowers is like a small self. And the thread which is not seen. When you see a garland, you see only flowers. Don't we see only flowers? The thread is not seen. Not seen, invisible is our real nature and the visible, the finite is this body-mind instrument that is a small self. Now you ask me whether it is possible, whether it is possible to know that big self or the constant one. Yes, but not through your mind. Exactly. So, what you are saying is that is not through the small eye. Yes. You, the small eye ca cannot see the background. Yes. The words cannot see the blackboard. Yes. The movie cannot see the screen. Yes. Right. By intellectual understanding, you will understand that. Right. But it will not be of any use. Yes. Those will be only, that will be only an intellectual understanding. That will not, that will not give you constant peace. Right. Eternal peace. It is not a you will become a scholar. You will become a pandit. You will yeah. become a scholar. Yeah. You might get uh, PhDs in uh, enlightenment, right. but you will not be enlightened. Yeah. One way there is one way to understand these two, with another analogy maybe. Now we see this fruit. This fruit is what what all of us are. For ex just an example, this is how we look like. All of us look like this. Now, all of us appear like this. This is our appearance. This is what is our appearance. This is what is our appearance, right? So, one way of looking at life, which 99.9% .9 people feel that this is what all is. This is what we are all is. There is nothing more than this. But we have already come to that, that we are like this. We are like this. But there is al also an app running, which is invisible, which I call it as mind. Right? Now, I am saying that through mind, you cannot know, recognize, or come to an understanding of that which is prior to the mind. 
So, there is third level that invisible screen I said or, a, or that is a blackboard or a movie screen or a thread beneath the flowers that cannot be understood sans understander. That can be understood intellectually, but understanding sense understander, understanding without an understander, that's what is the understanding. Understanding in continuum. It's not an experience, it is experiencing constant. We call it as bodha, bodha, atma bodha, knowing who you are, which is unchangeable, undeniable. That understanding is is like this. Like, do you remember you do you remember uh, during your waking sixteen hours that you are a man and not a woman? Do you have to remember? No. Do you have to by heart? No. no. That I am a man. When you go to the U.S. or away from your home, do you rem do you have to remember that this is your postal address? This is the address where where I live because you are going ten thousand kilometers away. Do you remember? Do you have to remember? No. No. So because you know. Conviction. Conviction. Right. Undoubted Und conviction. Undoubted con conviction. Right. Do you believe on sun? Do you believe that sun exists? Or do you have any doubt on sun? So it is that conviction. Yes. And not the intellectual conviction. Yes. That is of you. Now how to go about it? That's a separate story. Yes. But that is how we understand what this I that is affected by the events yeah. and what is that I deeper I that is unaffected by it. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. Or right. through this we can understand it even more. Like we appear as I said we appear as this fruit. So these are all fruits. Yeah. But to say that this is the what only there is and a mind app and that is it. But it's one way of understanding like 99.9% .9 of the world feel that this is all that is. Because that is what uh, I suffer. So I can understand that because of that mind I have, I have a suffering. So I accept somebody can say that I have a body because it is seen and then app also intellectually I can understand. But what is there beneath the mind? I would like to say that. Why do we buy this fruit? Is it because it is it, it's beautiful? Is it because it, uh, it is shining? Is it because of its appearance or for what? We buy this fruit or any kind of a fruit basically for the juice that is inside this. That is the, that is the ingredient is juice, the essence, isn't it? Now what I am trying to say is this appearance is this body. So as this fruit has got a juice, now if I tell you, if I tell you, the test of, give me the test of the juice without showing me an object. Is it possible? No. You have to taste it. You have to test it. Yes. So the test, the essence is not seen, is unseen, is invisible, which you cannot deny. It is undeniable. But if I tell you, show me sweetness without showing me sugar or jaggery, is it possible? Even seeing jaggery is not possible, you have to taste it. You have to taste it. Yes. But at least you can see this is jaggery. Right. But I am asking you to show me sweetness. No, it cannot be. Show me sweetness without showing me jaggery or, or, uh, or sugar. The essence in the sugar, essence in jaggery, essence in salt or essence in this fruit is what the similar essence is there within all of us. And most importantly, whatever happens to us in our life, in our life there are challenging situations, we get disturbed. Don't we get disturbed? We get disturbed by different situations, the situations which, which we do not like. Something happened with us, something happened with our body or the body of our close near and dear ones. Whatever happening to us on the mind, are ch those challenges are just like these challenges. Okay, these are the challenges. You are finding very challenging situation. Oh my God, I don't want this. Oh God, please. 
it hurts the hurts of the near and dear ones i don't want this as long as we remain on the body and mind premise it is going to happen but tell me something the essence within this fruit does it get disturbed by these exterior challenges is it getting disturbed no am i killing the essence no am i doing anything with the essence no if that essence cannot be killed and remain undisturbed whatever may happen on the exterior level to the body my hand is broken i went on through a heart surgery or maybe a knee replacement or maybe a some other surgery eye surgery cataract surgery is it does it disturb the essence in this fruit similarly the essence within all of us that is constant is never disturbed is never disturbed you cannot kill that essence the question you ask is is it possible to to know that essence or to realize that essence that is what is called as self realization that the realize who you are start your journey for that processes will be different right but for sure one thing is for sure that through your mind you will never be able to reach to that point one of my very uh, oldest quotes was i remembered truth is million miles away truth is million miles away from pragmatic thinking and intellectual understanding million miles away you can reach to that you can try to reach to that ultimate truth or the self realization through mind to a certain extent where you reach to a cliff with the help of mind where you realize that now i don't know anything from this point this is the end this is the this, end this is my and end. with you with one's own conviction right if when one realizes one one arrives at that cliff yeah. through mind that is the end of mind and the use of mind in my opinion in my understanding is only and only that mind is useless to reach to that undeniable essence so the small self the best it can do is to get fully convinced that it has reached its limit yes beyond it must do whatever it remains silent or cannot do anything and when it reaches to that cliff a natural surrender happens h a p p e n s right. happens if the journey if the purity of the journey if the quest is 100% if the purity of journey is 100% person or that small self or that ego reaches to one point where he sees there is nothing beyond it yes. this is end of it maybe you can say that you remain in a circle a circle of say 1 feet diameter imagine yourself you are standing in a 1 feet diameter circle and that circle i call this as i don't know you remain in that circle that's it that is your boundary i don't know and in that circle of i don't know everything opens up or uh, i would say i don't know and i cannot know yes absolutely right once absolutely. that conviction comes in yes whatever may happen may happen yes right yes but the mind the small self if it is not mature if it is not mature enough to come to that will go on another ride another kick another retreat another i have seen in the west people uh, that the christians now they say now i am in i am into zen now now i am into sufism no i am into buddhism no i am into jainism so they go on changing the uh, the they are changing the flavors they are missing the essence if you like if you like the ice cream you are liking the uh, the essence basically but you go on changing the flavors what will happen you will never be able to reach to the essence yeah. that's what i mean to say okay yeah
I, I think this is very, very clear uh, in every way. Yes. Uh, what is the eye that is affected? What is the eye that is unaffected? And most importantly, according to me, is what is the best that the small eye can hope for? Yes. It is to reach convincingly its own limit and say, I cannot do anything beyond this. Yes. Full stop. Yes. Then there is hope. Then there is hope. Right. There is the first stage. Yes. In short, if I may say, it's a journey from doing to being. The circle which I said, I don't know. There, the limit of, that is the end of doing and beginning of being. So, doing to being. This is the primary stage. Right. Okay. 